Winter Wonderland, baby. Winter Wonderland. Look at all this snow right here. Snowed, I guess, from Friday till Saturday night. Tons of snow. Took us about four hours to shovel our driveway. Then we had to shovel the road, which I'm walking to right now because the plow just came this morning. So it was, it was a big mess, to say the least. But we're all free. We can go places now, so it's pretty nice. But I mean, the snow—the snow is just is just is just crazy. Right there, big mounds of snow. So right now, I'm gonna hop in my car and truck to the gym. What's up, guys? It is cold as fuck out here right now, but it feels so good after working out. Oh, I didn't record. I apologize. It was too crowded, and also one of my good friends was here, so we were talking a lot, and I didn't want to record, because I just wanted to talk, but I still had a good workout. Don't get me wrong. I still worked out hard as fuck. So, with that being said, just to give you guys a recap of what I did, I did chest, triceps, and abs today. I did bench press on the, on the bench. I did... Uh, Five sets of five at 175, a three at 225, and then I warmed up with three sets of 10 at 135. Then I did chest press on the machine. I did uh, 180 pounds, two plates on each side, did uh, three sets of eight. Then I did chest flies on the machine, did about three sets of 10 or 12 at 175 then I did a uh, tricep machine three sets of 10 then I did tricep rope three sets of 10 at 100 pounds over top of my head then I did single arm triceps at 40 pounds then I did crunches with the tricep rope and then I did uh, plate uh, I still don't know what they're called. I'm gonna look them up when I get home and I'll put them right here, right now. Boom, at the bottom of the screen. That's what they're called. Um, <laughs> I, I just don't understand why I still don't know what they're called, but anyways, feels good as shit out here. But uh, gonna head on home, eat some dinner, and I'll talk to you guys later. What is up, family? I am on a little road trip right now to uh, the outskirts of Pittsburgh and uh, Mount Pleasant probably have about what time is it three o'clock been driving for about an hour and a half probably we'll get there around 5 5 15 working a case up there tomorrow just driving up tonight so you know I don't have to drive tomorrow morning leave real early in the morning but work pays for a hotel they gave us some food money allowance money and uh, so yeah that's about it. Stopped at Sheets. Um, picked me up a turkey right here. This bad boy. A turkey uh, sandwich wrap. Also got a uh, diet uh, root beer to sip on. So, since I've talked to you last, it's been a while. I think the last footage was of the snowstorm, which is about a week, a week ago. A week and a half ago so it's been a long time so sorry for the delay I've been working a lot I've been doing a lot of travel for work uh, past week and I went up to Ocean City um, so worked the case up there today Pittsburgh so it's been a long time What's up guys? It's Wednesday, uh, February 10th. Um, I'm backing out of my driveway now. I decided, well, let's just start off saying that I had a day off today. I've been doing really good. My boss gave me the day off uh, just because. So pretty happy about that. Right now, I am on my way to Chick-fil-A. And uh, I guess about a week ago, 
uh, I would say like last Monday or Tuesday, I started counting my macros again uh, just because I want to really be consistent with everything. And I, the only, well, to say this, I see better results when I do count macros versus when I still just eat healthy. I just don't really know exactly how much of everything I roughly know but I don't exactly know. So I started counting macros again. I'm on uh, 2,200 calories, 40% um, carbs, 40% protein, 20% fats. Pause it, I gotta put my seatbelt on. Safety first, and then you're also knee driving when you're doing it, but I'm a professional at knee driving. Anyways, so yeah, 40, 40, 20. It uh, comes out to be about 220 grams of carbs, 220 grams of protein, and 51 grams of fat. I try to stay below 50. I just always have and always will. So we're going to play. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I get a two... Uh, grilled chicken sandwiches, just the sandwich with uh, lettuce, tomato, and extra pickles on both, no cheese. You said lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles? Uh, yes, please. Okay. We doing anything else? Uh, that's gonna be it. Alright, so I have two grilled chicken sandwiches with, with pickles. Oh, uh, that's correct. The lettuce, tomato already come on them. And any sauce for you today, sir? Uh, no thanks. Alright, just two sandwiches? Uh, yes. Hey, your name for the order, sir? Eric. Alright, Mr. Eric, it's my nine at the window. Alright, thank you. My pleasure. These double windows are pretty fucking weird. I don't know how they get the orders right with different cars going in different lanes, but uh yeah, time to get some fucking food. Alright, so uh go to diary. What the fuck? Go to diary. Alright, so for breakfast, that's what I had. Omelette with fat-free cheese, two and a half cups of Special K protein, uh, 10 ounces of almond milk, uh, 482. Then uh, for lunch, I'm going to have two uh, grilled chicken sandwiches. Uh, go to nutrition. Yeah, so that's what I have left for today. 106, 91, and 33 fat. Uh, the pie chart is look, looking pretty good. 130 grams of carbs so far, 15 grams of fat, and 150 grams of protein. And show you guys the macros on two sandwiches. Um, 640 calories, 10 fat, sodium's high as fuck, 80 carb, 60 protein, 6 fiber. So that's that. Macros are pretty friendly with this meal, pretty happy about. I mean, if it fits your macros, it works so and these macros are actually pretty good and you know 80 carb 60 protein 10 fat for two sandwiches can't beat that at all one poulet two poulet look at that beauty right there it's good as fuck Actually, haven't even had Chick-fil-A in pff, God knows how long. Probably three, four months, maybe. It's been a long time. Normally I go to Chipotle, but I wanted to switch it up today. And these were really macro-friendly, so got my Red's Frank, Red's, <laughs> Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. Gonna put, put that on there, make it a little spicy. Got my Diet Root Beer right here, A&W. Always gotta go with A&W. So, I'm gonna enjoy this food, and then I'll... What's up, guys? So, just went to Best Buy. Picked up some new headphones. I, uh, I lost my, I had a Soul uh, Republic HDs. I got them when they first came out. Um, I got them because the price was a lot better than Beats, because I think Beats at the time were like, probably $2.99, and my Soul Republics were $1.99, or $1.79. But I lost them couple months ago I don't even know how long ago it was because I haven't used them in like a year but I cannot find them anywhere so I wanted to pick up some new ones uh, once again Beats I feel like Beats is just like kind of like Apple with a name and that's why everything is more expensive so I picked up uh, the 
uh, some, these bad boys, Skull Candy Hesh 2 wireless headphones. They're really lightweight. I want to wear these when I go to the gym uh, without a wire coming down. I normally just use these uh, buds right here. These are, uh, I don't know, I got these off of Groupon for like two for 20 bucks. They are pretty good for the price. I want something a little sleeker looking, a little better looking, so I picked up these. Uh, yeah, these Skull Candy Hesh 2 wireless ones, I'm going to let them charge. Go to, go to the gym, hit up a workout, probably around 6.30, so like in an hour and a half. Um, these were uh, 79 bucks. Um, I was reading reviews for the last couple weeks trying to find headphones, and these were the best fit. I went to the store, tried them on, listened to a few songs, and they are, they're really good. Um, I don't know if they're as good as Beats, but they're pretty damn close.